Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to create and set up React application for our employee management system. Well, in order to create the React application, we are going to use Wheat.js build tool. Well, Wheat.js is a build tool that aims to provide the faster development experience. For example, if you go to browser and in a new tab, just type Wheat.js and go ahead and click on the first link and click on the guide tab over here. So Wheat is a build tool that aims to provide a faster and learner development experience for modern web projects. And this Wheat.js provides a development server to run the, you know, React applications and it will also provides a build command to bundle the React application. Okay. So basically Wheat is a build tool that aims to provide a faster and learner development experience for modern projects. And you can see here, Wheat supports different types of templates like you can use JavaScript or TypeScript. In this project, we are going to use JavaScript to build the React application. Well, in order to use Wheat.js build tool to create the React application, you have to install the Node.js and NPM. Well, in order to install the Node.js, you can just go to official documentations download page and you can go ahead and download the Node.js as per your operating system and you can install it in your machine. Well, NPM comes with Node.js, so you don't have to install NPM separately. All right. Well, let us first create the workspace for this React application. So here I'm going to create a folder in a desktop. You can create a folder anywhere on your file system. So here I'm going to create a workspace folder in a desktop. So let me call it as pull stack. All right, within a pull stack folder, we are going to create the React application. Next, let us open the Visual Studio Code ID in a pull stack folder. So here, let me first open the Visual Studio Code ID over here. And here, go to File, Open Folder, and go to Desktop, select Pull Stack Folder, click on Open. Now, we have opened Visual Studio Code ID in a pull stack folder. Next, let us go ahead and let's create the React application using Wheat.js. So here I am going to use the inbuilt terminal. So go to terminal, click on new terminal over here. All right, and here let me maximize this. And here let us type the command npm create wheat at the rate latest and then followed by the React application name. So here we are going to give the project name as EMS hyphen frontend. Well, EMS stands for Employee Management System and this is basically a frontend. Well, if you can notice here, here we are using the latest version of Wheat. That's why I have mentioned at the rate latest. Okay. Next, go ahead and hit enter. And look at here, it gives the options like select the framework. Well, we are going to use a React. So let us select the React and hit enter. Next, we need to select the variant Either we can use TypeScript or JavaScript. So let us use the JavaScript. So here let us select JavaScript and hit enter. And there we go. You can see scan folding project is created under post tab folder. And if you can see here, EMS frontend, you know, React application is created under post tab folder. Well, if you can notice here, within a fraction of seconds, the Wheat.js created the React application. All right. Next, let us use these commands to install and run the React application. Well, first of all, we need to move into our project by using this command. So here just type CD and then EMS frontend. Now we are in a EMS frontend project folder. Next, let us type npm install and hit enter. So this will install all the dependencies required for our React application. So it will take a couple of seconds. So just wait a couple of seconds. And there we go. All the JavaScript libraries are installed. And if you expand EMS frontend over here, you can see node underscore modules folder is created. And within this folder, npm install command will keep all the downloaded JavaScript packages. All right, perfect. Next, we need to run the command. So let me check the command npm run dev. So in order to run the React application using Wheat.js, we have to run this command. So this command will run the React application in a development server. So here, let me first clear the terminal. 
and just type npm run dev and hit enter and notice here the react application is up and running in a development server on port 5173 so here let us copy this url and go to the browser in a new tab just paste this url hit enter and there we go you can see wheat plus react okay next let's go back to our project and if you can notice the port over here 5173 so let us change this port from 5173 to 3000 when wheat.js provides a configuration file named wheat.config.js so within this js file we can configure the development server related details for example here let us create a server section so this is basically object and within that let us have a port and let us give port 3000 and then just save this file and notice here as soon as we save the file the development server port is changed from 5173 to 3000 okay next if you go to browser and if you refresh here it says this site can't be reached because we have changed the port so here let us give the port 3000 hit enter and there we go now you can see the react applications up and running okay so this is how we can change the port of our development server all right perfect well let me recap what we have done in this lecture we have created the react application using wheat.js so basically we have used a couple of commands like npm create wheat at latest and then followed by project name so this is the command that we have used to create a scan folding project for our react application next we have used npm install to install all the javascript packages or libraries for our react application next we have used npm run dev command to run the react application in a development server all right it's pretty simple just we have to use these couple of commands to create and run the react application in next lecture we will understand the folder structure of our react application all right great i will see you in the next lecture